Okay, if you get two worksheets, uh, use the note sheet as gold. Okay. Gold worksheet here will go through this, then you get your Richmond one, which is green. Okay. Um, and then here's the thing too. The answer key for the enrichment in there is called the single key. It's a little bit different, but it's the same question. You'll be able to figure it out. Okay. So here's what we're going to do today. We're going to talk about single replacement. All right. Uh, we're going to predict them. You now know what they are, but we're going to actually predict them and be able to and be able to like write out the other side. So that's the end goal. Okay. You know what a single is, right? What is a single? Oh, I wish I had my pen. Okay, so what's a single? Single replacement occurs when blank is more than blank. So if you look at the chart here, okay, here this is this is what we call the activity series. Okay? You can figure that tables out. They're on the back side. It's right there, but just so you know where this is. This exact chart on the left is on the back side of your periodic table. Okay? Find it just so you know where it is. Everybody see it? Back side. Where is it on the left? Okay? So here's what the activity series is. Okay? So remember when I did that demo? Where I put the aluminum foil in the blue solution. Remember that? What happened? Tin foil switched and the copper came out, right? So here's the rule. This is kind of like the coolness chart, okay? This chart right here. If you are on the top, you are the most reactive. You are super cool, okay? And here's what I like to say, it's cool to be in the pool. Meaning this, if you're solid, you want to be in the pool. So if you're in solution, basically what you want to do is if I'm cooler than you, I'm going to kick you out. So in our case of copper and aluminum that we did the other day, there's copper at the bottom, there's aluminum. Which one's, which one's cooler? Aluminum. So when I put the foil in that blue copper chloride solution, aluminum's like, get out of the pool, copper. I'm coming in. I'm switching with you. Get out. Okay? So what has to happen is this. The single replacement occurs when the solid is more reactive than the metal in solution. Okay. So then the activity series, okay, the activity series helps us helps us determine how reactive an element is. I'm typing this and not writing this because I'm recording this for my other hours for so. them. Um, the elements at the top are the most reactive. Okay? So here you go, you got a list. Now, all you gotta do is say, is barium or lead more reactive? Find barium. Where's barium? Barium right here. Where's lead? Right here. Barium is the more reactive one. Bam. Okay? Which one's more reactive? Copper or calcium? Which one's higher? Calcium. Which one's higher? Nickel or hydrogen? Which one's higher? Aluminum or silver? Okay, so you got the idea, right? You got to look to see which one's more reactive. Okay, now, guys, I got married. I got a ring. 
Okay? I'm on a ring. I'm on a weapon ring. That's your nerdy. Okay? Now, I wasn't cheap. Pretty expensive. You're not cheap. If you've had cheap jewelry before, what happens? What does your skin turn? You go to Claire's and you buy some cheap earrings and some cheap rings. Okay? What happens? Your green, your skin turns what? Green. Over time, right? Yeah. Probably. Look what lit, look what's on the bottom of the list. What's on the bottom of the list? What metals are at the bottom of the list? Gold. What else? Silver. Copper. What are what are rings and that people wear on their body? Good, good. What? Gold and silver, right? So they're not very reactive. We would want to put metals on our body that are very reactive. But if you buy cheap stuff, it's usually brass, which is like nickel, tin. Okay. So if you go, all of a sudden you go up, the charge you start getting into the cheaper metals. And then all of a sudden what happens is those metals, like over you you sweat out elements, everybody knows that, right? You sweat out, you got water and stuff. That water and all that stuff that comes out of your skin will react with the metal that's cheap, and then therefore it will leave a mark on your skin. I e three. Cheap metals. So if you ever get married and your screen your skin starts to turn green. Your significant other told you that they spent ten grand on a ring. Call BS. It might a little. Call BS. Be like, what do you do? You spend ten grand on these buyers. Okay. Go to the enrichment. Go to the green one here. Okay. I'll do a couple, couple of these with you. Okay. And then you, just, I'll just have you write yes or no. Okay. So, number one, what has to be true for a single replacement reaction to occur? The solid metal solid metal has to be above the metal in solution. Solid metal has to be above the metal that's in solution. Let me show you an example here. This lower. Calcium above zinc. So the solid metal is the one that's by itself. Is calcium above zinc? Find it. The Ca above zinc. This is the solid, right? This is the metal that's in solution. Is calcium above zinc? Is it? It happens. Don't switch. Okay. Well, I won't be able to do the back end tomorrow. All I want you to be able to do is know if it happens. Okay. Lithium above magnesium. Is it? It'll switch. Okay? It'll switch. Is lithium solid green above the blue? It is. It'll switch. Is sodium above AG? Is NA above AG on the list? So you put your finger on both. 
Put your finger on the solid, put your finger on the... Uh, is it above? So switch. Is MG above CU? So switch, okay? Let's find one where they go. Is AG above NA? Here, find it. It's not. It's not. So what we just know? You could put silver in sodium fluoride solution and nothing would happen. Okay, it won't switch. Sodium's like, hey, I'm cooler than you. I'm more reactive. You don't get to come into my pool. Uh-uh. Oh, you don't get to come into my pool. Okay? So that's the idea there. Go back to your green sheet here and see if you can answer two through five. Okay? Okay, according to the activity series, a piece of magnesium, so MGs are solid, right? Will react with which of the following solutions? Is it above K? Is it above, is MG above K? So the answer for this one is no. Is a MG above a, AG? What's the answer? Yes. Can't type this one. Is MG above zinc? The answer is yes. Okay, so the answer should be B and C there, which will not react. So it's not going to. It can't be above it. If it's above it, it'll react. So which one is it not above? Is it above calcium? It's not. Is it above copper? It is. Is it above potassium? Okay. No. So the answer should be, it will not react with A, and it will not react with C. It will react with B. Okay? Do four and five here quick. Just yes or no. Okay? And then here's the... Before we start, like, actually filling in this side right here, all I want you to do is on the left side here, okay, go through all these and just write yes or no. It's going to happen. So, like, on this side, of the, on, on, like, the left side, don't write on this side because we're going to write other stuff there tomorrow, okay? But... On this side, is lithium above potassium? All you got to do is write yes or no. Sound good? And maybe we'll finish, we'll finish with that. I'm starting to write uh, a little bit. Write down, okay? I want you to write this at the bottom of this page right here. So you er, let's go to your note sheet, okay? Writing reaction. This is going to be more than three. Oh, um, writing reaction. So right here, I want you to write this. Let's see if I can paste it in now. Maybe it won't work. There it is. Okay. Is the lowest metal higher than the paired metal? We just did that. Okay. Is the lone metal higher than the paired metal? We just did that. Is it yes or no? writing one through five down. You have on the bottom of your gold packet. Okay? So I will finish with these two. Okay? 
and we will do the practice on you. If you're watching this, this might, be a little, this might be the tough part to do. We'll do tomorrow. Okay, but here you go. Ready? So, what's the que what do the questions say? Okay? The question says this. You have calcium, which is the lone metal. Okay? And you have sodium chloride, NaCl. Okay? That's the paired metal. Is the lone metal higher than the paired metal? So it's, this is the yes or no question that you just got good at. Is calcium above sodium chloride? Or sodium? Is calcium above sodium? It is. So the answer for number one is yes. It is higher. They will switch. Okay? So now we are going to switch them. All right? And here's how you do it. Write the charge by each element. Okay? So I go through, <coughs> and I go, okay, so I'm going to write the charge, plus 2 above calcium, plus 1 minus 1. Okay, so write the charge above each element. So it would look like this. Plus 2. Plus one, minus one. Okay, what does it say? Switch, flip the metals to the right side. We're going to switch them. Switch them. Good? So then you just write CA, CL. The positives switch. Okay? I switch the positives and I got NA. So then it looks like CA, CL. Plus Na. We switch the positives. Okay? Now, I'm going to make sure the charges go by bring my charges with. This is what we'll get good at this tomorrow. Make sure the charges cancel out with subscripts. Okay? Now, if CA, CL, are these equal, back to the formula right from a long time ago, are these equal, plus one, minus one? They're not equal, right? So what do I got to do? What do we always do when they're not equal? What do we do? Chris, cross. The two goes there, okay? And the one goes there, you don't like the one. Now that makes that minus 2, so it looks like this, okay, bring the 2 there, 1 there, now I balance the charges, that's number 4, make sure the charges cancel out, so anytime you make a new compound, you have to balance out the charges, okay, good, good so far, last thing, balance out the whole equation with coefficients, so now we put the big numbers up front, okay, how many, now you can not worry about charges. Once you balance this, let's balance the whole thing. 1CA, one 1CA, one good? 1NA, one 1NA, one good? 1CL, two 2CLs. How many do I need over here? Two. And then what do I need over here? Two. So it's a one, two, one, two. That's a lot. I understand that. That's the answer. Final answer. Okay? That's a lot. I get it, but that's why we slow it down and go that way. Go ahead and see if you can do ZN, NACL, okay? And then that would be enough. And then you can do the practice problems there. Um, and we'll be back more tomorrow.